accepted. Well, our political reporter Murimi Mwangi was at the precincts of uh, Parliament uh, just uh, speaking to their leaders after that particular meeting. He now joins us live from Parliament with an update. Murimi, picking up from what Moses Wetangula, the minority leader of the Senate, has just said that democracy has no timetable. From these sentiments and what we've heard from John Bardi, the minority leader of the National Assembly, does it mean that this particular meeting with the U.S. ambassador to Kenya hasn't really borne a lot of fruit? Well, uh, good afternoon, uh, Akisa. It's not the very first time that the envoys are meeting uh, leaders from the opposition coalition and uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's Jubilee Party. Uh, but from today's meeting, uh, what we were able to gather is that uh, the opposition coalition uh, would be willing to uh, sit and talk with President Uhuru Kenyatta's Jubilee Party, but they maintained the same preconditions that they had set out when uh, they made their first push for dialogue. But besides that, the uh, U.S. Uh, ambassador has been categorical that uh, the uh, election uh, process is uh, somewhat complete, the election having happened and President Uhuru Kenyatta having been sworn in, but uh, that the said talks is to, of course, uh, prevent, uh, you know, a plunge into a political uh, conflict or crisis emanating from the prevailing uh, deadlock between the two uh, coalitions. But of course, the opposition has maintained that uh, their discussion is not merely about uh, the August 8th election and the October 26th repeat presidential poll, but also key issues that they have termed as the pillars of any such dialogue that is to happen, including the independence of the judiciary, uh, police reforms, as well as a suggestion to revert from a presidential system of government to either a parliamentary one or a hybrid one. And that, of course, has to be subject to the outcome of any talks should they happen between the two sides of government. We put the question to the two minority leaders about whether any such dialogue should lead to their inclusion in the uh, already uh, partly formed government under Jubilee. And they said that that is not a priority for them but their priority is to see the actualization of their push for uh, these key pillars, including electoral justice, which they say has to be partly uh, be premised on uh, the August 8th election, whose outcome was nullified, but they maintained that uh, the contents of the server, which they claim to have opened, would uh, provide another direction upon which the discussion would happen. But President Uhuru Kenyatta's side has maintained that the talks can only happen within the parameters of actualization of the Jubilee development agenda, which he set out as at the time of the swearing in Akisa. So then where does that leave uh, Kenyans from the discussions that have been there in the morning with the NASA leaders and, of course, uh, the prospects of a swearing in by the opposition at the end of this month? What, what does this mean for Kenyans, essentially? Well, the opposition maintains that they will proceed with uh, their swearing-in on uh, the 30th of this month. In fact, uh, John Badi, the minority uh, leader in the National Assembly, insisting that it's no longer upon uh, Raila Odinga to make that decision, but saying that it's beyond him uh, because his supporters are waiting for that. But he has said that uh, uh, perhaps the only uh, factor or prevention to that happening would be a convincing uh, reason not to do so, which from what we gather would be, uh, you know, concurrence on uh, pushing forward with a dialogue uh, whose outcome, as they insist, has to uh, lead to the reform of these key pillars that they have uh, set out. And of course, the, that grand standing persisting, even as President Uhuru Kenyatta continues to name uh, his second uh, cabinet, uh, uh, the process which we expect to perhaps be complete in the next few weeks. And therefore, uh, it will be uh, upon the key parties that are on the negotiation table with the envoys separately, because you remember uh, the same ambassador had met uh, the Senate speaker sometime last week in another push for uh, talks or dialogue between the two sides, and perhaps the communication has to come from the summit of the two 